I think most people in their careers have moments of disillusionment or a sense that they don't know where they're going. I think those moments of disillusionment hit all of us at, at any one time. A person that has not to face any difficulties, I think, ends up being a person that's an unreal person in the world because he doesn't know how to deal with difficulties. You look at the world around you. Where did Microsoft, where did Apple, where did Amazon, where did Google, where did Facebook come from? They came from ideas that people felt something could be done. Where individuals started in garages, where ideas were born and that they could make a difference. You, in the years ahead, are going to be leaders of this country and shaping the destiny of this country. In many ways, we have been critical of what has or has not happened in our country. How many times have you heard people say, this can't be done? Do not grow with the view that something can't be done and so should not be done. It's your job to remove those myths and to get things done. As you grow in your organization, you will find that you get lonelier and lonelier and your decision is eventually a lonely decision. You should do what you believe is right. It may be the tougher decision, it may be the tougher option, but if deep inside you, you know that it's the right decision for the right reasons, not for the wrong reasons, then you should go ahead and take it. And I would hope that you look at being ethical and holding the value systems which you want this country to have. Your whole world is going to be learning and listening. Your success is going to be your humility. If you, if you speak or sit next to a Nobel laureate, he never tells you that he won a Nobel Prize. Other people tell you. Let humility be your best defense. So as you go out into this world, you need to ask yourself, why are you there? Are you there for money? Or are you going because you really want to make a difference in the world by what you do? All of us, in our own ways, need to ask ourselves, are we doing something we feel proud of? Are we doing something that we feel is making a difference? Or do we bask in showing off our wealth or our prosperity or our well-being so that people can look up to us. If it's that, then I think we're wasting our lives. There are people that need our help, and if we've sent one poor person to school and, and seen that person prosper, it should give us a feeling of well-being. Much more than making our first million or billion, as the case might be. You need to get, give back to society some of the learning you have done to do something for your country and for society. And you shouldn't merely consider yourself successful based on the prosperity you gain for yourself, but you should go home at night feeling satisfied if you have made a difference. That difference is something each one of us can make. We'll have failures and we've had frustrations, but it's a continued commitment.